This is Earth. Well, it's not actually Earth. This is a globe. A globe is a spherical model of the Earth. Today, we're going, we're going to be talking about what a globe is and the parts of a globe, and how to use a globe to find your way around. First, let's look at how we can divide a globe up into different pieces. When we divide a globe up into different pieces, we call them hemispheres. Repeat after me. Hemisphere. Hemisphere has two parts. The root word is sphere. A sphere means a globe. A sphere is this three-dimensional round shape like a ball. Hema is a prefix that we put in front of the word sphere. Hemi means half. So when we say hemisphere, what we're saying is half of a globe. Now, you'll see there's a green line here and a red line here. Those are two different ways that we can chop up a globe. Hemispheres can be divided into northern, that's the top half, and southern, halves, by this line here called the equator. And it can be chopped up into eastern and western halves by this green line here called the prime meridian. So we can chop up the globe so that it has a top half and a bottom half, or we can chop up the globe so that it has an eastern and western half, or a right and a left half. Let's look at one of those uh, at one of those halves, one of those ways of chopping that earth up, chopping that globe up. <clears throat> the first way we're going to chop it up is by drawing a line from west to east or east to west. We call that line the equator. An equator is an imaginary line around the middle of a planet. Think of the, that part of the, uh, of the word here, equa, means middle or equal. Divides the planet into northern, that'd be the top half in this case, and a southern hemisphere. Now, we can also measure how far we go from the equator, how far north we go, or how far south we go. See these little lines here? They tell us how far we're going. We call those lines the lines of latitude. Lines of latitude are imaginary lines that we draw on a globe that run east to west, or west to east, and they measure the distance from the equator. So you see this line of latitude here, it's a little ways from the equator. This line of latitude here, up here, is a longer ways from the equator. This little line of latitude way up north, that is a great distance from the equator. And we can say the same things about these lines of latitude to the south. Now, this line chops the Earth into eastern and western halves. We call this line the prime meridian. The prime meridian is an imaginary line that divides the Earth into eastern and western hemispheres. It chops the Earth in half. It's a line that goes from north to south. It chops the Earth into eastern and western halves. Now, we can also draw lines from the prime meridian. We call these lines lines of latitude. They are imaginary lines that run north to south. They measure the distance east or west from the prime meridian. So if we look at this line here, we can say that uh, it's not actually the prime meridian. The prime meridian actually is over uh, maybe around the curve of the earth here. We can't actually see it. But let's say that the prime meridian is somewhere over here. We could say that this line is a short distance from the prime meridian. We could say that this line here is a farther distance from the prime meridian. We could say that this line is a very great distance from the prime meridian. This might be a better example here. We can say that this is pretty close to the prime meridian. But this line over here is very far from the prime meridian. These are lines of latitude, or rather lines of longitude. They're long. They run from top to bottom. Now, uh, in today's work, you're going to be working with the lines of latitude and longitude and uh, figuring out what part of the globe are you on.